all right so here are some tips and tricks that will help you level up how you use the note 10s and yeah let the video begin so the first thing we're going to talk about is how to improve your audio quality while using a pair of earphones now all you have to do is just head over to your phone settings and then scroll down till you get to sound and vibration and over here it says sound effects you want to tap on it and i don't have my earphones connected but if i connect this one now you see that the option comes on this option here and then you tap on it and you get a list of different um, earphones that you can choose from so just select the one you need until you find the one that suits you well all right so let's move to the next thing so a while back i talked about how you can use the same app twice and you have to use an app called parallel space yeah parallel space but um with this phone you can do that without installing any apps head over to your settings and then tap apps next tap dual apps now you can see that it is recommending that I do the duplication for WhatsApp. So I'll just tap on it and then I'm going to tap on this button that says dual apps and then tap turn on. And it's going to create a duplicate for the WhatsApp application. So if I head over to my apps, so you can see it has created this uh, new WhatsApp icon for me. And uh, yeah, it's a new WhatsApp. If I open it up, you'll see that uh, it's going to ask me to register to WhatsApp and I can use any other number that I have not registered on WhatsApp with to Use it so you can do the same for any other app that you have listed over here it doesn't support all apps it only supports the apps that you downloaded or you may get to see some apps that come with the device those are not really system apps they are just apps that uh, you can uninstall if you don't like them this device comes with always on display and uh, i'm going to show you guys how to customize it so as usual you head over to settings and then tap on always on display and lock screen and then tap always on display now mine is deactivated but i'll just easily turn it on and then i'll select what i want to be displayed whenever i lock the phone so you can use a custom image if you want i already have one which is why you can see this um this image here so i can just adjust it to how i want it to be and tap on apply whenever i lock the phone and i wait for around 10 seconds it should turn back on so if you guys know about assistive touch, I don't remember the name per se, but it's just going to help you out with navigating the phone. Well, this device comes with its own version of that and it's called QuickBall. And yeah, let me just show you guys how to access it. So you head over to settings as usual. And then now you tap on additional settings and then you tap QuickBall. So I've deactivated it, but if I tap on this, it will turn on. You must have noticed that um, something came out by the side of the screen. So if I tap on it, you see all these options here. So if I tap on this option at the top, it will take me back to the home page. If I tap on it again and tap this one, it will show me my recent apps and then I can decide to switch to the app that I want to use. You can add other options if this is not what you want. So let's say you don't want to be able to lock your phone with the quick ball. You tap on lock, and then you get to see the other options that are available here. There are not a lot of options, but they are good enough, I guess. So yeah. If you want to switch that to maybe Wi-Fi, you tap on Wi-Fi and you see that if I tap on it, I will be able to activate the Wi-Fi network and deactivate it from here. Okay, so I'm currently showing the recent apps on my device and as you can see, everything is visible except the gallery app. So I'm going to show you guys how you can blur the recent apps from being visible in case you, know, you want to keep them private. So let's say I want to blur out this WhatsApp app. I'll just tap and hold it and then tap this gear icon down here. Then I'm going to tap on blow up previews and if I go back and tap the recent apps again, you'll notice that uh, WhatsApp has been blurred out. Still on the recent apps feature, well, my previous device, which I'm using as the camera for this uh, video, it doesn't have the apps arranged in this vertical orientation. It does it in the horizontal orientation and I'm used to that. So I'll be showing you guys how to switch all your recent apps to the vertical orientation if that's what you want. You go to settings and you tap on home screen. Then you tap arrange items in recent and make it horizontal. So now if I tap on the recent button, you see that now I have to slide this way. Double tap to log is something I mentioned in the review of this device. And uh, to show you guys how it works, head over to settings, always display on lock screen. Then you tap on double tap to wake or turn off. So now that I've activated it, if I lock the phone and I double tap it, you see that it comes on. If I double tap it again, it goes off. So when I first got this device, I experienced the screen was flickering and I didn't know why, but I just went through some of the options and I found out that um, it's due to dark mode. So if you guys experience the same thing, just go to your phone settings and then tap on um, display 
on the make sure dark mode is selected and then tap more dark mode options and then make sure this is deactivated adjust text and backgrounds automatically that's what causes the flickering from what i've experienced so far so if it works for you just let me know in the comments and yeah congrats i guess so whenever you tap on the recent button you're going to see a list of options up here and uh, if you don't want them then just head over to your phone settings and then tap home screen and then down here it says show suggestions just deactivate it and now if i tap on the recent button you see that the top of it is free so those are just the few tips and tricks i have i know i'll be making more in the future i didn't want to make too many videos concerning all these um, tips and tricks so i'll just create one and uh, if i have more that are not the same then i'll make a part two for this video i'm going to link the previous um, tips and tricks that i've made so far on this device and you guys can go ahead and watch those ones too now there's more unlike uh, second space i really need to talk about that one but um, it's not going to be in this video because that's more advanced so in the future i'll make a video on that all right so if you found the video helpful like i said give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed make sure you do so that you can get tips and tricks like this all right guys stay safe and uh, bye bye